Yes, you do what you do every day. You see the same faces that fill the cafe. And if one of In a lot of ways, Broadway moms and actress moms have all the same issues that a normal working mom would have. You know, it's hard to be away from your children. I think what's different in the profession that I'm in is I work opposite hours of everybody else. Charlotte, did you bring anything to do at rehearsal? Uh, grab a book, grab a book. Oh, oh, baby. Sharon Wheatley has been performing on Broadway since the early 1990s. She's currently an understudy for the roles of Kate Monster and Lucy the Slut in Avenue Q. Your life's a routine that repeats each day. But her most important role is playing mom to 11-year-old Charlotte and 18-month-old Beatrix. <laughs> Having access to quality childcare is essential for all working parents, but being a Broadway performer poses a unique challenge. I think typical daycare hours are maybe 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. My work week, I start on a Thursday and I go until Tuesday. My day off is Wednesday. I work evenings and I work weekends. So literally, there is not a daycare that exists that could take care of my kids. There you go. Now don't throw that ball, okay? I'm tired. Sharon and her husband Robert, who also works on Broadway, hire babysitters to take care of their two daughters when they're performing, at their rehearsals, and for the endless auditions for future work, which really puts a strain on their Broadway budget. So I make a little bit under $1,000 a week, and my child care and after school costs tend to be around $500 a week. So I'm already $500 down, just kids. That's not rent, that's not utilities, that's not, that's, that's not clothes on your back. I think everybody in the Broadway community recognizes that there's a problem when it comes to childcare, that we pay so much out because there's no good place, there's no childcare, there's no daycare, there's nothing set up at all for us. And it's not just actresses, you have theater technicians, you have orchestra members, you know, there's all kinds of people who make a Broadway show happen, not just the people that you see on stage. Previous attempts by actors to organize a public daycare facility have fallen flat. The latest attempt is coming straight from a church located in the heart of Broadway. Certainly I saw in the, my parishioners their difficulty in uh, making auditions uh, when getting a, a part, uh, being able to f um, uh, feel that they could give themselves fully to their art um, while still taking care of their children. Father Baker of St. Malachy's, a Roman Catholic church also known as the Actors' Chapel, is trying to open a private childcare facility, which would allow for operating hours that would be flexible enough to serve their community. When I first had the idea and, and spoke to both Actors' Equity and Actors' Fund, um, they engaged their people to do an official um, survey so that we could get some scientific evidence if this was truly a need that was out there. Once the survey was complete, it was evident that of those surveyed, it was truly a, a real concern and a real need in the entertainment world. We're entering into a business management planning stage, as the Archdiocese has referred to it, to examine the fiscal, the legal, logistical uh, aspects of this project. Careful, careful, careful. While the reality of a facility remains uncertain, Sharon is relieved that someone is trying to solve this problem. It's hard enough to get to an audition. To get to an audition and have to take your six-month-old because you can't afford childcare is nearly impossible. And I'm so tired of seeing moms have to leave this business, this business that they love so much that they've dreamt about since they were a little kid because they can't afford childcare. I just, I don't think that's right. 